Peregrines generally are cliff-dwelling, nesting birds along the coast um, or inland and rivers. And here we've created these artificial cliffs with canyons. It's just tremendous to see peregrines occupying every potential niche that they could occupy. Today was our first day out to the UC Davis Medical Center. Uh, we found out that there were young that were of age to band um, and were invited out to come add them to our Bay Area Peregrine Breeding Monitoring Study. We have special permission from California Fish and Wildlife to enter the nest one time during the breeding season to reduce any kind of uh, you know, invasive disturbance on, on the nest. Their legs are full grown, and so we're able to size them and place bands on them that will mark them and allow us to follow them through their life. So we're hoping to keep tabs on where peregrines are breeding as well as their productivity so that we can both track how the population has expanded since um, their recovery as an endangered species, but also keep an eye out for any uh, emerging threats that might ultimately be uh, important to this population and other raptors in the region. Things like climate change are, are why we've been maintaining this long-term monitoring program that's been going since the late 90s. Um, and so by collecting data over these long periods of time, we, we can potentially capture trends um, or changes in how the birds are, are breeding or behaving. The parent peregrines will uh, give defensive displays while we're up there. Um, but as far as they're concerned, they just chased us away from the nest. So hopefully they'll just go back to raising their young and as, as if we'd never been there.